OK, let's talk our way around the lap. Over the start finish line, bringing the bike over to the left and heavy braking into turn one. There are a few humps in the track and ripples at the apex here, so stability is a bit of an issue. Rapid change of directions through the chicane, get the bike sat upright and then drive out. Keep it over to the right, short shift and then full gas up to the fast left, easing back at the apex and then a short blast out. Heavy braking up to turn 6 and this section all the way up to the hairpin you need to link it all together. Very difficult to accelerate too hard, it's more about keeping up your momentum. Heavy brakes into the hairpin, late apex, sit the bike up and then drive out down towards turn 11. This is probably the toughest section of the track, very physical bringing the bike over at speed from left to right. Slightly downhill to turn 13, difficult to get the bike stopped and turned in and generate enough momentum to get out the corner. A slight rise around turn 14 up to turn 15. This next section is like a very stretched out chicane. Finding the best compromise between good corner speed and track position is important. With the emphasis on getting the bike in the best position for turn 17 so you can get a good exit to the important fast 18 and turn 19. This section is super fast. Bike at maximum angle of lean, struggling for grip to get the bike onto the straight and down to the run to turn 20 and 21. Turn 20 is more than 90 degrees and seems to go on for ages. But as soon as you can, pick up the throttle and drive up the hill. Easing back and a dab of brakes if you need to into the last corner. Good drive out onto the straight and finally you can relax, it's all over.